If R and S are the roots of the equation x squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where b and c are constants, is the product R times S less than zero? So first of all, let's just think about this. If R times S is less than zero, that means we have to have one positive and one negative. If they're both positive, they'd multiply to something greater than zero. And if they're both negative, they'd multiply to greater than zero. So we want to know, do we have a situation where we have one positive root and one negative root? So statement number one gives us the information that B is negative. B is less than zero. So let's think about this. If we factor A squared plus BX plus C, we're going to factor it into two things here. And it's going to be X plus or minus something, X plus or minus something. Well, whatever two numbers we pick here, they're going to add to make B, and they're going to multiply to make C. That is the basic principle of factoring. Well, if we add two things and get a negative number, it could be true that we're adding a positive plus a negative and getting a negative, or it could be that we're adding a negative plus a negative and getting a negative. So, we don't really know, do we have two things that are the same side or two things that are opposite side? So this statement by itself, knowing B is negative, is not sufficient to determine whether we have same sign roots or opposite sign roots. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number two, now we know that C is negative. Well, C is what we get if we multiply these two numbers. Well, if we multiply and get a negative, the only way you can multiply and get a negative, again, is when you multiply a negative times a positive. You multiply two positives, you get a positive. You multiply two negatives, you get a positive. You have to multiply a positive times a negative to get a negative. And that necessarily would mean that we have one positive root and one negative root. And if we have one positive root, one negative root means the product of the roots will be less than zero. So knowing that C is less than zero is equivalent to the statement that the product of the roots is less than zero. So that is 100% sufficient information. Statement number one is insufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. And the answer is B.